Hey there, gang! On my radar, meteorologist Matt Capucci finally out of the hurricane. And now we have a G4 severe geomagnetic storm affecting Earth right now. This corresponds to a level 4 out of 5 on the Space Weather Prediction Center scale. There's a chance that, if this holds, much of the central and northern U.S. and pretty much the entirety of Canada could see the northern lights tonight. Now, obviously, the storm's ongoing right now, but the sun is up, meaning we can't see it because it's still bright. But, ideally, this will hold until dark, and if so, we'll get a pretty good show. If you're hoping to view it, just go to a clear, dark location and look north. We can't give you a specific time because sometimes we get these random substorms, but, you know, look north and try your luck. It's all happening because this big sunspot called Active Region 3848, it's like a bruise in the sun. It's throbbing and pulsating with energy and throwing that energy out into space. Now, yesterday we had an X 1.8 class solar flare. That's a big flare. It's like a big flash of light on the sun that explodes electrons and radiation into space. And some of that reached us a little over an hour later, causing a shortwave radio blackout over the ocean. But then we had something called a coronal mass ejection. It's like a big burst of magnetism and solar material that basically was aimed right at us. Look at this thing. It's like a halo going around the sun because it's moving right at us. We call it a full halo CME. Basically, that will head towards Earth and interact with our magnetic field, and our magnetic field, that like protective shield of magnetism, will convert that energy, that harmful energy, into harmless visible light, i.e. the aurora. You can see how quickly the solar wind speed ramped up as this magnetic shockwave came through beginning at 11.17 this morning. The other cool thing, the ongoing geomagnetic storm is actually inducing ground currents, meaning like electrical currents in the ground. Of course, they're, they're weak enough that we won't feel them. You need about five times more current to actually trip any voltage systems or, or affect infrastructure or cause power outages, but it's cool to see mapped out. Now we know this thing is ongoing right now. Central and Northern Europe are already getting a good show because it's dark for them, and we hope that holds for us. Check out Scotland right now, which doesn't see the Northern Lights terribly often. This is courtesy of Shetfield webcams, and they're seeing it, so hopefully we will too. So, all told, the sun is still up, it's going down in a couple hours, Hopefully the storm will keep going because it, it's a harmless storm. It's a geomagnetic storm, meaning we get the chance to see the Northern Lights. I've seen them several times. They are magical, and I hope that you get to see them too. Follow My Radar on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.